we shall now consider a very important item of the Raja Yogi Kiyam, that is Brahmacharya or Celibacy. Of the numerous laws of the spiritual path, this occupies a unique place of a very special importance and significance. They are not conditioned or limited by class, time, place, circumstance, etc. The reason is that it provides the force or the motive power for the seeker's ascent into higher planes. Brahmacharya makes spiritual unfoldment possible. It is to the yogi what electricity is to an electric lift or electric train. Without it, the seeker cannot progress at all or rise up in the yoga marg or the path of yoga. Any movement or activity requires some force or power to animate and propel it. A subtler and superior sort of activity needs a correspondingly subtler and superior force to energize it. Spiritual sadhana is the highest and greatest form of struggle the human being engages in. It requires tremendous energy and an abundance of nerve power of a high order. This Shakti is acquired through the earnest practice of Brahmacharya. Warfare with the turbulent senses and the treacherous mind can be successfully carried on only with the strength born out of perfect continence. Therefore, great stress is laid on this virtue in every yoga, to all seekers, wherever they are, and whichever religion they might profess. How does Brahmacharya bestow this superforce? It does so through a fourfold process. There is in man a storehouse of mysterious energy. This animates his entire being. This energy resident in the human being manifests itself in two aspects. The gross aspect is in the form of sensual force, continuously expressing itself through the restless indriyas or senses. The subtle aspect is spiritual in nature and tends to raise you into higher planes of consciousness. At its lowest it is carnal passion or lust and at its highest it is Ojas Shakti. The radiant energy that feeds the intense flame of deep meditation of the advanced seeker and yogi. Brahmacharya aims at and achieves the refinement of the physical vital energy and its sublimation into spiritual Ojas Shakti. Thus to the wise spiritual aspirant Brahmacharya or continence or celibacy is not a matter of suppression or repression but is a positive, dynamic convertive process. The process is, therefore, a fourfold one of controlling the animal energy, conserving it, then diverting it into higher channels, and finally converting it into something altogether superphysical, that is, into divine orges. Your energy leaks away continuously through the senses that are slaves to craving. This wastage must be stopped. To self-restraint or dharma or indriyanigraha is indispensable to brahmacharya. Thus to the seeker, brahmacharya does not merely mean the control over the sexual impulse but implies perfect restraint over every sense of his in order to achieve the conquest of lust. It is comprehensive self-restraint. The spirit of Brahmacharya must pervade your entire life and all your actions. The power gained as you progress in celibate life must be carefully conserved. You have to safeguard it as a precious treasure. The earnest seeker would rather lose his life than lose his brahmacharya. You can conserve it through ceaseless vigilance and sincere vichar, thought, every moment of your life.
Safeguard yourself against the error of foolishly imagining that you have succeeded in getting rid of lust. By the mere fact of having lived a single life for a number of years or experiencing a little feeling of serenity or purity. Despite all efforts at controlling and conserving the power, it tries to manifest itself forcibly and overwhelm the seeker. Herein arises the need to intelligently divert the energy by suitable devices into pure channels. Asanas, Pranayam, Mudras, Kriyas, active seva or service and pure activity of all kinds help to divert it inward and flow upward. To keep the mind constantly engaged in sadhana is one of the great secrets of Brahmacharya. Gradually this energy is converted into pure spiritual energy. It is transmuted through sadhana. The result of this sublimation is Ojas Shakti by which the sadhak is enabled to do dharna, dhyana and enter into deep samadhi or bliss state of superconsciousness. The spiritual aspirant, who carelessly neglects this all-important yam never progresses in spiritual life. Sadhana is impossible without Brahmacharya which expresses itself as perfect purity in thought, word and deed. Every thought, feeling and sentiment of the aspirant must be as pure as crystal. His character must be spotless. Even the least or the slightest trace of sensuality ought not to taint the nature of the Brahmachari. You should be inspired by a positive passion for purity. There must be the burning desire to be spotlessly pure. Even the idea of lust should never enter the mind. This should be the standard that the aspirant should strive to attain. The conventional conception of Brahmacharya is misleading. The glory and the grandeur of the Brahmacharya ideal have been forgotten. A true Brahmachari is a veritable god upon earth. Brahmacharya is not mere bachelorhood. To the spiritual aspirant it is deeply significant. It is a virtue that follows from truth. Absolute purity is essentially a quality of divinity. Your real nature is divine. If we are to be true to our nature and to ourself and manifest this truth, then at every moment of our being, in every breath, thought, speech and action, we should consciously and deliberately strive to manifest this grand aspect of our inner nature, namely, the perfection of purity. Thus alone will you be able to get established in Brahmacharya in its real sense. Such Brahmacharya will lead to Brahma Sakshatkara or the realization of the Absolute.